hi everyone welcome to aws data engineer training program and today we'll be talking about ec2 that is elastic compute cloud yesterday also we talked about ec2 and we launched our first virtual server while launching there were few settings like what type of operating system you want what type of hard drive you want what type of configuration you need we need to select some security group right and how to create a key pair that will be helpful if you are trying to connect to your server we talked about two uh, ways to connect to our server the one was very convenient you can directly do it from the browser and another one was like if you have the private key downloaded then you can use any tool like putty or any like if you are on mac or if you are on linux based os you can use the private file private key that can be in ppk format for windows and that can be in pem format for linux based os and very easily you can connect to your ec2 instance and once you are connected then you can do anything that means any linux based command you can execute or if you want to do anything else i mean the server is with you now and you can perform anything so now we'll be moving ahead with the second part of ec2 instance uh, yeah, today right. will be yeah can you hear me yeah you are audible please go ahead uh yeah like uh after like while uh, connecting the putty uh like uh like we need to uh i i miss like uh where we need to how, how to connect like we need to go to connection and then ssh and auth and do we need to specify the file uh, which we downloaded in there? Yes, correct. Yesterday, uh, yeah, we you showed about us, that. but actually, uh, I didn't get like a uh, uh, you you told that you posted the videos, but I think okay. I didn't find anything like that, like till class day one. Yeah, you can see this. Yeah, so you yeah, click okay. on connection click on ssh click on auth and then mm -hmm. this this is the path you can click on browse select your private key so okay. this screenshot is taken like few months back in case you have a newer version of putty you may you are not getting this option then we can do one thing after today's class just stay uh, we'll control your system you can share your screen and we can look into that okay Neeraj. and one more thing like where you are posting all the classes i can't see like i can't i don't have any access to uh, look over the classes i see classes means recording yeah i didn't get any mail like from you like regarding the classes no worries just uh, just ping me your email address again and i will check it out okay Neeraj. thank you Okay, let's come back to uh, today's topic. So we'll be talking about advanced topics about EC2. So the agenda for today's class is AWS CLI, that is command line interface, IAM role for EC2 instance, security group for EC2 instance, volumes and snapshots, creating AMI, AMI stand for Amazon machine image, and creating EC2 instance alarms. So these are the advanced topics uh, we'll be starting with the first one and before we start the very first thing we need to do is i need to log in into my aws console so just give me a moment let me refresh this So I have enabled the MFA, so I need to enter the code. Just give me a moment. One, two, nine, two, six, four. Okay, so I will be opening our uh, server. That means I will directly open the browser. That would be more convenient. So it's in running state that's what that was my mistake we should not keep the server in running state but i forgot yesterday but today i will show you one thing which will help you to stop your server even in case you uh, in case you forget then it will automatically stop that thing we will 
talk about today so i will click on connect and that's all okay so let it start the session to my server in the meantime i will throw some light like uh, what exactly command line means so command line is basically if you want to do anything on aws there are many ways to do it the first and the most convenient is you go to console and you do something for example you want to launch a new ec2 instance so what we did is we opened aws console and from there we launched one server that's very convenient similarly suppose we have to create a s3 bucket you can also do that very easily that's one way another way is you can do each and everything on aws through command lines as well that means suppose you want to launch a server you want to stop the server you want to terminate the server you want to attach or detach the im role you want to change the security group each and everything you can do through commands also similarly you want to create a bucket you want to delete a bucket you want to just list the buckets those things also you can do with help of commands <laughs> that is known as cli command line interface uses permission from im role associated with ec2 instance that's very important thing as we discussed earlier as well in our previous classes that there is an im role associated with your server that means your server can perform only those things which are the permissions are assigned to your server you cannot go beyond that if you remember we created one im role for server and we attached some permissions like s3 and lambda i'm not sure i'm not don't remember exactly but we added some permissions right so only those things we can perform if you are trying to do something else which is not the permissions are not guaranteed to your server that means you won't be able to do it we'll we'll do that practically and you will understand that so commands are available for all aws services and very handy tool to manage your aws resources suppose you have to delete like 50 of s3 buckets you can go to console and select each bucket and delete it will take a lot of time the same thing you can do from the commands very easily and very quickly so this is the link given if in case you are uh, you want to know like what are different type of commands available for different type of services the first thing we will try is s3 cli that means the commands related to s3 and before running the command let me throw some light on s3 because we haven't talked much on that s3 is nothing but simple storage solution it's equivalent to google drive that means in just like in google drive you can create a folder you can upload the file you can download the file similar stuff you can do on s3 so let me do one thing let me show you how to create a bucket so that you can understand so what i will do is i will go to my console and i will type s3 so you can see that there is no bucket as of now if you click here and click on buckets you will see that you do not have any bucket as of now but we can create one click on create bucket okay and <clears throat> it will ask a lot of things i think <clears throat> okay i will give some name my first s3 bucket okay you can give any meaningful name and one important thing is this bucket name should be unique unique across all the aws accounts not only unique within your account that means if your friend has created a bucket with some name you cannot create the bucket with the same name because s3 buckets are global it's very important thing now if i will try with this name my s3 bucket i'm not sure whether it will create or not let's try that so we have a dedicated class for s3 so i'm not going into each and every detail i will simply click on create yes you can see that bucket with the same name already exist 
so what I will do is I will put something 007 so let's try that okay that's great so my first s3 bucket 007 has been successfully created and you can click on this and you can upload some file if you want there's an upload option so we will explore about s3 and all the s3 related concept in a separate class most probably tomorrow so i'm not going into much detail why i created this bucket is i want to show you how we can do s3 related stuff from commands so now i will go back to my console this one and there's a command aws s3 ls so all aws commands will start with aws after that the service specific word like if it's s3 or ec2 or lambda or rds or anything else right now aws s3 ls it should list the buckets available in your account so let's see okay unable to locate credential you can configure credential by running aws configure let's do that that's one time activity aws configure mm -hmm. why it's asking these things it should not ask let me try from terminal just give me a moment So if I will connect with putty, I would need IP address and mainly the public IP address. This one, I will open my putty. EC2 hyphen user at the rate IP address. SSH auth locate the private key. s3 ls okay there is uh, why this error is okay maybe what i doubt is we haven't attached the im rule that's why i think it is failing so we can attach the im rule first and after that i will see because this error should not come AWS S3 LS we are doing and it's working fine. Okay. okay, we'll check that out. Otherwise, if some process has changed, we will look into that. Just give me a moment. So, what we will do is there should be you can click on action, instance setting, and is there an option to instance? IM rule, do you see any option? Security. Ah, it's there. So, under security, there's an option modify IM rule. Click on that and choose the IM rule. If you remember, we created one rule, this one. My EC2 instance IM rule. We did this uh, when we had a class on IAM. So, I will choose this and update IM rule. Okay, let me try now. Not sure it will work or not, but let's try. 